Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Have you noticed how hot it is these days? I mean, if you take a note of the record heat wave sweeping across the northeast and the Atlantic seaboard, yeah, I didn't think so. That's because they didn't happen. Kind of like global warming, that farce has long since imploded. The supposed science behind it has even been disavowed now by its most avid backers. You see, a funny thing happened on the way to the polar ice caps melting. The very scientists who once shoveled this nonsense have admitted their data was fake. They lied, pure and simple. They fabricated the numbers to push a political ideological agenda. Climate gate, they're calling it. For example, Phil Jones, the head of the British Research Center, one of the leading global warming advocate centers, had to step down after he admitted he used tricks, his words, to hide, his words, data that the world's temperatures were actually decreasing, not increasing. Then, he later confessed that the Earth had actually been warmer back in the days of the medieval times, you know, before carbon dioxide emissions. He also revealed that the Earth's temperature had been declining since 1995. And this guy was one of the leading gurus of global warming. Then there's the case of the UN's Intergovernmental Panel of World Climate Change. Isn't that a great name, isn't it? Another farcical group promoting the hoax. That lie was exposed when it was discovered that the head of the UN agency, Dr. Rajendra Pachori, isn't even a scientist. He's a railroad engineer with a degree in economics. But that didn't stop him from declaring that 40% of the rainforest in the Amazon would be destroyed from carbon emissions in the next few years. Yeah, they're calling this one Amazon Gate. Problem was, he wasn't sci citing scientific research. He was reading from a sheet of talking points prepared by the World Wildlife Fund, an environmental group cashing in on the fraud by getting government grants and contracts. And so it goes. So what does all this have to do with the Catholic faith? Well, that's what we're all wondering here at RealCatholicTV.com. Why is the U.S. Bishops' Conference spending money, and lots of it, on their Catholic Coalition on Climate Change? That department has spun off a lofty-sounding theological oddity called the Catholic Climate Covenant. Boy, that's a lot of alliteration for you. But why? Why are the lay staffers at the Bishops' Conference all jazzed up about an issue that has been proven to be a lie? They recently dropped a lot of coin on sending out packets of info to 19,000 Catholic schools instructing all of those students how to lower their carbon emissions, reducing their carbon footprint, it's called. But why? It's all a lie. Don't they know that? Even the backers of global warming admits it's all a farce. They made it all up. They know that. Anyone seen Al Gore lately? And why did the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. publish a calendar for Lent suggesting that people find different ways to reduce their carbon output for 40 days of Lent? Seriously. Why did the California Bishops' Conference promote it? It's all a lie. Carbon emissions don't raise the Earth's temperature. It's all a lie. Why are the bishop staffers pushing this in the name of the bishops? Because it's just another pet project of the left that these whacked out deceitful liberals or progressives or whatever they call themselves these days, they can use this to pretend they care about humanity when all they really care about is their own agenda. The bishop's own website, seen right here, produced by their liberal lay staffers, wraps the issue up in theologically warped expressions like environmental justice. Oh, shut up. Environmental justice, please. The only justice associated with this climate change hoax is the injustice of spending Catholic dollars to promote another leftist lie. So let's see now. Catholic money is spent by these liberal or progressive staffers on groups that promote abortion, same-sex marriage, contraception, and now climate change. Just exactly what does a lay staffer at the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops have to do to get fired? I'm Michael Voris.
Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.